Hi folks, Steve Hindy here for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. In our last video, we exposed Jeff Franklin, the Sheriff of Clay County, Nebraska, for abusing his authority during an illegal traffic stop of a shark investigator on November 6, 2015. Sheriff Franklin was acting as a bully for the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center, a secretive, tax-funded facility that conducts horrific experiments on farm animals. Sheriff Franklin was upset because a drone was allegedly flown in the area of U.S. Mark, although the sheriff did not personally witness the alleged flight. Following Sheriff Franklin's illegal traffic stop, he chose to make numerous false and slanderous statements about Shark to the local media. In the November 18 edition of the Clay County News, Sheriff Franklin says this about his illegal stop of a Shark vehicle. Quote, as I approached the vehicle, I was looking straight into three cameras with members of Shark at the other side of the cameras." Unquote. This is absolutely false. We have video documentation of the entire stop. There were only two people in the vehicle, and only one of them held a camera. What is almost comical is Sheriff Franklin's description of the supposed three cameras that were in fact only one camera. In the November 16 edition of the Hastings Tribune, Franklin is reported to have claimed, quote, I have never seen such sophisticated equipment, unquote. Let me show you what Franklin refers to as such sophisticated equipment. This is the very camera used on the day in question. It is a Sony Handycam, and it is not very sophisticated, and it is not very expensive. I don't know why Sheriff Franklin would make up such a ridiculous and easily discredited lie with regard to how many cameras were used or about their supposed sophistication. In the same Hastings Tribune article, Sheriff Franklin claims that the occupants of the vehicle he illegally stopped cited, quote, chapter and verse of what they are allowed to do with the drone under Federal Aviation Administration rules, unquote. Again, this is not true. The first video we posted demonstrates that. The whole stop was recorded by us, and what Sheriff Franklin claims just did not happen. A headline in the November 13 edition of the Lincoln Journal Star newspaper reads, quote, Clay County Sheriff, Animal Welfare Activists Causing Tensions, unquote. That's ridiculous. The only person raising tensions is Sheriff Franklin with his false statements about us. The article goes on with, quote, Clay County Sheriff suspects that animal welfare activists could be connected to a string of reported break-ins and trespasses that are putting the county's cattle producers on edge, unquote. This kind of totally baseless and absolutely false accusation is evidence that Sheriff Franklin is unfit to be a law enforcement officer. In the November 12 edition of the World Herald, Sheriff Franklin referenced the U.S. Mark traffic stop of a shark vehicle, without mentioning that it was an illegal stop, and made the following statement, quote, You have the right to protest peacefully, the sheriff said, but when you go to other means and you start damaging, burning, intimidating, or threatening, you've crossed the line, unquote. Well, somebody's definitely crossed the line. This is slander. Shark did absolutely no damaging or burning of anything or intimidating or threatening of anyone. Nevertheless, this is Sheriff Franklin's quote, and it was repeated in numerous Nebraska media outlets. The November 18 edition of the Clay County News sunk the lowest of all, with the headline of, Activists Bringing Terroristic-Like Approach to U.S. Mark. In the story, Sheriff Franklin states, quote, It's almost a terroristic-like approach that this group is bringing to the area, unquote. Such slander is completely beneath any honest, competent law enforcement officer. Shark is not an organization that claims all police are bad. Society needs good cops because there are bad people out there. The problem today is that some of those bad people are cops. Our original concern with U.S. Mark came by way of a New York Times article. We had no direct knowledge. Now, however, U.S. Mark has demonstrated its character through its minion, Clay County Sheriff Jeff Franklin. 
I urge you to read the New York Times article exposing the horrific cruelty of U.S. Mark, which is funded by our tax dollars. In our next video, we'll show you even more evidence of Clay County Sheriff Franklin's outrageous misconduct. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.